Hello everybody. This is part 2 of separable equations practice. This is question number 10. y prime is equal to 3y minus 1. Our first step is to convert y prime into dy dx. Next step is to cross multiply. So we're going to cross multiply 3y minus 1 over 1 to dy dx. So we're going to obtain 1 dy is equal to 3y minus 1 dx. We would like x terms on the dx side and y terms on the dy side. So we divide by 3y minus 1. This time we obtain 1 over 3y minus 1 dy equals to 1 dx. Now x terms are on one hand side and y terms are on one hand side. So we can start integrating. Integral of 1 over 3y minus 1 is ln of 3y minus 1 over 3. So practically you can remember integral of 1 over u du is equal to ln of u times 1 over u. Prime. Or you can use u substitution. So here, let u be equal to 3y minus 1. Then du will be 3 dy and then dy will be du over 3 and if you place everything in terms of u you're going to obtain 1 over u instead of dy you have du over 3 and then antiderivative of 1 over u is ln of u and you have divided by 3 and if you bring u back you obtain ln of 3y minus 1 over 3 on the right hand side we obtain x plus c and tie derivative of 1 with respect to x is x and we put c on the x variable side. Now we found implicit solution. So this is our implicit solution. We were not given any initial condition so we are not going to solve for c but we can find the explicit solution by solving for y here. So our first step is to multiply by 3, whole equation. So we obtain ln of 3y minus 1 is equal to 3x plus c. We don't have to manipulate c because eventually in the end we're going to have big C, our constant. So you don't need to manipulate c. So you don't need to write 3c, negative c. Okay, next step is to raised to the power of e. We know that e to the ln of x is equal to x. So e to the ln of 3y minus 1 is equal to 3y minus 1. So that is e to the 3x plus c. Now we are going to add 1 on both sides and divide by 3. So y will be equal to e to the 3x plus c plus 1 divided by 3. And you can bring c to the front of e using the power rule. So you obtain y is equal to c e to the 3x plus 1 divided by 3. So this is our explicit solution. Question number 11. y prime is equal to 4xy plus x squared y. Our first step is again convert y prime into dy dx and here if we observe we can factor out y so we have 4x plus x squared inside now we are going to cross multiply and then simultaneously divide by y so we're going to obtain 1 over y is equal to 4x plus x squared dx and we have dy here. 
So what we do here is factoring out y and dividing both sides on y and cross multiplying. Now we can integrate on both sides. So if we apply integration on the left hand side, we obtain ln of y. And on the right hand side, we obtain 4x squared divided by 2 plus x to the third divided by 3 plus c. If we simplify, ln of y is equal to 2x squared plus 1 third x to the third plus c. This is our implicit solution. If we had initial condition given, we could solve for c using initial condition. Now we're going to solve for y and then we're going to find the explicit solution. So if we raise to the power e on both sides, we obtain y on left and we obtain e to the 2x squared plus 1 third x to the third plus c. You can bring c to the front using the power rule. So y is equal to c e to the 2x squared plus 1 third x to the third. This is our explicit solution. Question number 12. y prime is equal to 2 e to the x minus y and our initial condition is given as y of 1 is equal to ln of 2e plus 1. Let's work on the equation. y prime is dy over dx and we can use the power rule and separate e to the x minus e, e to the y. So e to the x over e to the y because a to the b minus c is equal to a to the b over a to the c. Now we can cross multiply. So e to the y dy is equal to 2e to the x dx. Now we can apply integration on both sides. Integral of e to the y is e to the y. And here integral of e to the x is e to the x. We put c on the x side. So this is our implicit solution. But we can solve for c using the given initial condition which is y of 1 is ln of 2e plus 1. So we have y of 1 is equal to ln of 2e plus 1. So this is our x, this is our y. So e to the ln of 2e plus 1 instead of y, we plug in, is equal to 2e to the 1. e to the ln of some argument is equal to that argument. So e to the ln of 2e plus 1 is equal to 2e plus 1 is equal to 2e1. e to the 1 is e. Now plus c. Okay, now we're going to solve for c. So we're going to subtract 2e on both sides. So they cancel and then c is equal to 1. So we can put everything back. e to the y is equal to 2e to the x plus 1. So this is our implicit solution. Okay, now we can solve for y and find the explicit solution. We can ln on both sides. So ln of e to the y is y, and that is going to be ln of 2e to the x plus 1. That's our explicit solution. Problem number 13. We have dy dx equals to xy squared, and initial condition is given y of 2 equals to 1. Our first step is to multiply by dx. So we have dy equals to xy squared dx. Now we would like to divide both sides on y squared. 
So we obtain y to the negative 2 dy equals to x dx. Now we can integrate on both sides. Integral of y to the negative 2 is negative 1 over y. And integral of x is x squared over 2 plus c. This is our implicit solution. Now we can find explicit solution by solving for y, but before that we're going to find the value of c using the initial condition given. We had y of 2 equals to 1. Here 2 is our x variable and 1 is our y variable. So negative 1 over 1 equals to 2 squared divided by 2 plus c. So this is negative 1 on the left and 2 plus c on the right. And from here we find c as negative 3. Now we can plug in everything. 1 over y equals to x squared divided by 2 minus 3. Now we're going to work on this equation and solve for y. First step, we can multiply everything by negative sign. So 1 over y equals to 3 minus x squared divided by 2. Then we can invert the fractions. But before that, we can merge this. So it's going to be 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus x squared divided by 2. So this is 6 minus x squared divided by 2. And if we invert everything, y will be equal to 2 over 6 minus x squared. So this is our explicit solution. Let's check example 14. Our first step is to cross multiply. So we have y dy equals to negative x dx. Now we can integrate. Integral of y is y squared divided by 2 and integral of negative x is negative x squared divided by 2 plus c. Now using the initial condition we can solve for c and this is our implicit solution by the way. So in our initial condition given, this is our x variable, this is our y variable. So we're going to plug in the values. So 4 squared divided by 2 equals to 0 plus c. Because 0 squared is 0, 0 divided by anything is 0. So 4 squared is 16, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So c equals to 8. So we can plug in y squared divided by 2 equals to negative x squared divided by 2 plus 8. Now we are going to work on this equation and solve for y. Our first step, we can multiply everything by 2. So y squared is equal to negative x squared plus 16. Now we are going to take the square root on both sides. So y is equal to plus or minus square root of x squared plus 16, negative x squared plus 16. This is our explicit solution. Now we can check interval of validity. Here we have one concern. We cannot have negative value under the square root sign. So we are going to set negative x squared plus 16 is greater than or equal to 0. Next step is to subtract 16 on both sides. Next we are going to multiply whole equation by negative sign and be careful then the sign flips because you multiply by negative. Next step is to take the square root on both sides. Whenever you take the square root, you have to put plus or minus sign in front of the radical sign. So x is less than or equal to 
plus or minus square root of 16. Square root of 16 is 4, so x is less than or equal to plus or minus 4. So our x value is between positive 4 and negative 4. Our initial condition was y of 0 equals to 4. 0 falls into this zone, so this is our valid zone. So this is our interval. Negative 4, comma 4. Example 15 dy over dx equals to 12x to the third y and our initial condition is y of 0 equals to 5. Our first step is to multiply by dx. So we have dy equals to 12x to the third y dx. Next we divide everything by y. So we totally separate the equation. So 1 over y dy equals to 12x to the third dx. Now we can start integration. Integral of 1 over y is ln of y. And antiderivative of 12x to the third is we add 1 and divide by the power plus c. So if we simplify, this is going to be 3x to the fourth. So this is our implicit solution. Now we are going to find the value of c using our given initial condition. Here 0 is our independent variable x and 5 is our dependent variable y. So ln of 5 equals to 3 times 0 to the 4th plus c. So this is totally 0. So c equals to ln of 5. Now we can plug this into our implicit solution. ln of y equals to 3x to the 4th plus ln of 5. This is our implicit solution with the constant value given. Now we can solve for y and find the explicit solution. So we are going to raise the power of e. So here y is equal to e to the 3x to the 4th plus ln of 5. Here we can separate the power. So e to the 3x to the 4th plus ln of 5 is equal to e to the 3x to the 4th times e to the ln of 5. And e to the ln of 5 is equal to just 5. Because e to the ln of argument equals to that argument. So we can use the power rules and logarithmic rules and rearrange it as y is equal to 5 times e to the 3x to the 4th. So this is our explicit solution.